Alright guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week calls up the Warwickshire Model Engineering Expo. The show is mainly for miniature mechanical engineering. There was very little, if any, RC. Actually, the only RC I really saw was to control a large-scale electric shunter. So this video isn't really an RC video, but I hope it's going to be cool all the same. Here we go then. The first point of interest was this, a one-third scale front end of a Bentley. Neat in itself, but add to that all the parts were handmade, well, machine made, but with manual controls, and although it's not completely clear, it looks like the engine is a runner. Closer up, you can see what looks like the distributor with HT leads going to the plugs. It's just that extra bit cooler when it's not just scale accessories, but actual working bits. From the other side you can see the steering box and the top of the pedal assembly. Underneath it even has a clutch on the back of the gearbox. Just imagine building the rest of it and adding some sort of RC. Well, next we've got the Stirling engines. There's always lots of these at any model engineering show. This one was a fairly rare one though, as it was actually doing more than just spinning its flywheel. It was running through a reduction to this Meccano Spirograph generator. It ran extremely slowly, but it was quite happily producing the pattern. Very nice. Unfortunately, you'd never get enough oomph from a reasonably sized Stirling engine to drive anything radio control. Here we have the first of two tanks, a 1 6th scale Grant. No idea if it was RC, but even if it wasn't, it's not a common model to see. Very nice. The other tank was a good old Sherman. This one's slightly bigger than the Grant at 1 5th scale. The fun part was that this isn't a kit, as far as I can tell. The builder has this other little bit showing some of the parts, and an amazing attention to detail. It really puts the hang longs in their place. And I think some of the large scale kits might look a bit basic in comparison too. It's hard to see because it was dark in there, but if we look through the cupola, there's signs of some electrics. I'm thinking it might just be RC. What a monster! Outside, there's some live steam running, mostly large scale traction engines. Most, if not all of these, will all be scratch built. A really long term project that would probably need its own shed. They may not be fast, but they're still amazing bits of kit. Next up we have some Meccano. Now it looks a bit basic, but like Lego it's amazing what people come up with. And I think it's also up there with Lego, where Meccano is brilliant for learning mechanical fundamentals. Actually it's different enough from Lego that there's really a place for both. One of the popular Meccano projects is always the Eiffel Tower, ranging in scale from the tiny on the left to fairly big on the right, and if you really want a crazy project, the ones behind in green were enormous. Going for a wider angle really shows them off. The biggest must be at least 12 foot tall. Now I'd probably end up making cars or trucks if I ever went back to play with Meccano, but you've got to love the scale of some of these builds. Next we go from a bit of Meccano and the big steam engines to tiny steam engines. These guys seem to have their stand at every model engineering show, and a lot of the model rail shows too. From the outside they look like your typical Hornby 00 locos, except rather than use electricity to power a motor connected to the wheels, they use the electricity to heat a tiny boiler to make steam. As you might expect, they're a little bit finicky sometimes. Just like anything small and complex, it's not uncommon for something to get a little bit sticky. If you like tinkering though, I should think they're amazing fun to fiddle with, and more than likely singe your fingers. You just can't get steam like that coming from locos anywhere else. Those little mini smokers just aren't quite the same. And lastly, we're back outside where we find this traction engine going for broke. Its flywheel has a belt that's connected to a miniature wood table saw. Unfortunately, I waited just a little bit too long before panning over as the guy's just finishing his demo. But you get the idea. There was enough power there that it went through the wood very easily. Quite a useful setup if it wasn't for looking after the engine. They're not going to be light on maintenance. And well, that's about it then. Hope you didn't mind the non-RC video, but I thought some of you might like the content. Don't worry, I'm not planning on featuring Model Rail anytime soon. I think the model engineering is pushing it a bit already. The next one will be at the London Expo, but that generally has a fair amount of RC too, with the Tamiya trucking and BMFA on show. So I can usually get away with that one. Anyway, that's it. So thanks for watching. Like if you liked, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a message if you got something to say. Bye guys.